Boom shakalaka. What is going on, everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's episode, we are going to be talking about Bitcoin price making headlines, breaking $10,000 for the first time in 2020, up 40% year to date. Also, where the next price targets are for Bitcoin, and even more than that, some great news for Bitcoin. So if you think that's interesting, definitely stay tuned for today's episode. All right, guys, what is up? Bitcoin over $10,000. What a happy, happy time waking up to that. And where is Bitcoin going? Well, yesterday's episode, I talked about how we have confirmed that Bitcoin is in a bullish trend, breaking out of the previous downtrend since June of 2019. We broke out of that right around here towards the end of January, and now we are headed in an uptrend. Now, generally, when we zoom out, it looks like this uptrend could head to the top of this uh, trend in the white lines, could head to the top of that somewhere between fifteen dollars and $25,000, depending upon how we get there. But before we get there, there is some definitely very strong resistance, this blue line here from both the peaks, which would bring Bitcoin's price up to around 11500 by mid-March. Okay, so that's something we could definitely look at in the near future. Now. Right now, we have Bitcoin today breaking above $10,000 and it's starting to come down towards the $10,000 mark. Why? Well, $10,000 is a big even. If we take a look, there's a lot of support and resistance previously right around the $10,000 mark because that is a big even. People set their buy and sell orders around big evens. So what does that mean for Bitcoin? Well, generally, if it breaks through there and closes through there, that's really good news. If it comes back down below there, again, that'll be some resistance. But we may be looking in the next few days for it to break above there because since about the uh, December of 2019, we've been in this uh, bullish trend right here. And if we continue this, Bitcoin will break above the $10,000 mark. Now, should you buy in now? I don't know. That's up to you. I'm not into giving financial advice. Me personally, I dollar cost average. I buy Bitcoin every single week. But if you're looking for a trade, potentially if it breaks through and then comes back down, to this $10,000 mark, you might want to be looking to place an order there before it goes back up from there because when it's resistance now, if it comes back down, it'll be support and then it'll take off. So that's what to look at for Bitcoin. Next uh, target for Bitcoin, definitely somewhere around this $11,500 area. We have that pretty significant resistance. But if we break clear from that, then we're pretty smooth sailing all the way up 15, 25,000, even more. We have a lot of big things coming up, like the halving coming up. Also, this really great news for Bitcoin 40 banks apply to offer Bitcoin and Ethereum services. That's right. So, in Germany, the Fifth European Money Laundering Directive came into effect on January 1st. It updates the law to include crypto services. In the process, gives banks permission to treat Bitcoin and Ethereum as stocks or bonds and so offer likewise services. That's huge. Why is that huge? Well, it defines crypto very broadly as a digital representation of value that's not issued or guaranteed by a central bank or a public authority. It's not necessarily attached to a legally established currency and does not possess legal status of currency or money, but is accepted by natural or legal persons as a means of exchange, which can be transferred, stored, and traded electronically. So what does that mean? That means that banks can now offer the buying and selling as well as the storing of Bitcoin, Ethereum, or tokens like Maker, as they do for stocks and other assets. This is huge. So this uh, Handelsblatt, which is basically Germany's Wall Street Journal, reports that Germany's SEC has already received more than 40 expressions of interest from banks or permission to operate the crypto custody business in the future. That's huge. 40 banks in Germany saying, hey, we want to be able to deal, buy, sell, trade cryptocurrencies which is another step towards getting crypto to the matches, which is another step towards getting crypto prices to grow exponentially, especially when we have the half and coming out, when people start talking about how there's a limited supply of Bitcoin, and then they realize they can get it simply by going to their bank and buying it. Now, I know Bitcoin's against banks, and I know I'm against banks, but if masses want to use it, they're probably going to want to use it through banks until the whole DeFi options, the decentralized finance options are solidified, it's things like Monarch, Celsius, Nexo, all these things until these are the mainstream products for using 
cryptocurrency. Until then, we have banks, which are then going to be, it's funny because banks right now are vying to be able to sell the products that are going to make them obsolete in the future. This is pretty interesting. I guess like if Blockbuster offered some streaming services before they went out of business. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I don't know. So that's all for today's episode. Really great news. Bitcoin breaking the $10,000 mark. Let's see if it'll be able to hold. I think in the next couple of weeks, we'll definitely see it breaking above $10,000. However, if we see a turn down, well, guess what? It would break back down to somewhere between $8,000 and $9,000 towards the bottom of this trend line that we've had going on for a heck of a long time since August of 2015. So even if it does come down, it's not coming down too much. I keep an eye on the MACD, trade the daily MACD. Also look at the weekly MACD, which is absolutely bullish for Bitcoin. So that, the halving, a whole bunch of other stuff. Great news for Bitcoin. Thanks for watching today, guys. Make sure you check out the Monarch Wallet. Monarch Powers DeFi, one of the great DeFi solutions out there. Hold Bitcoin and 3,000 other cryptos on there safely and securely on your cell phone, free to use and very secure. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Have a good one. Peace.